Hello everyone, welcome to my colorful world. I have been lost for two years, but now I'm found. You can't start to imagine the amount of work I have been up to since I've been away. I even moved workspaces, and today I'm about to show you the beautiful safe haven I've created for myself. Let's go. So the first thing you see when you enter the studio is my mini hoop and Shrek. Anybody who knows me for more than five years knows I don't go anywhere without my Shrek. Shrek was with me during my national service, my uni days and everything. I also wanted a very functional couch, a couch that could get paint stains and everything on it and I wouldn't mind. And this works perfectly because it doubles as a bed. So right behind the sofa is my largest storage section in the studio. I have canvases I haven't used yet. I have some cans of paint and that corner right there is where my tribals go to die. Another thing that I really wanted and I have now is enough storage space. So I had a local carpenter put up these shelves for me and then Cartel came to help me paint them black and they have been super functional till date. The first and second row in the shelves on the right have my stationery. Now the fact of you can see the collection of books I have there. I'm trying to build a library so watch out for that. After that I have just a couple of spray cans I use for details in my murals. A shelf for my cables and my empty boxes and this is like my really special corner this is my crafts corner so over here i have um rhinestones i have my push pins i have my fish line my glitter twine a lot of things i really love this section in my show because i get to play like a child Say hi to my baby Sibla. I think she's pregnant, but that's just by the way. This section is where I keep my miscellaneous stuff. So you can see some rulers there. The very top has some files and folders with some of my letters from high school, you know, some of my scrapbooks. Maybe one day I'll be pushed to read some of the letters to you guys or even show you some of the scrapbooks I created as a teenager. So right in the middle of the two shelves, I have a portrait I painted of my friend, uh, my crazy friend, Nag uh, Bengbentus, <laughs> and she has warned me not to move this. Can you imagine? As if she's here with me. I know with what you've seen so far, you can already tell that I love miniature toys and objects. I also really, really love stuffed animals and stuffed objects. So in the shelves on the left, you can find some stuffed animals at the top. Then I have some miniature dinosaur babies coming out of their eggs and some dinosaurs too. Kind of cute, you know. Right beneath that cabinet is where I keep my tape. I have different colored tapes. I'm really sure I have a lot more tapes than is displayed here, but this is what we have here now. Right next to that is where I keep all my leather and fabric paints. So this is what I used to custom design my outfits and like shoes. I get all these from acrylics and it was a combination of the ones here that I used to custom paint the shoe I have right here. This is one of my very first customs and I still love it to date. So right beneath that is what I use for my canvas works. So my portraits and my abstract pieces. Um, they are Pebeo Studio Acrylics, high viscosity, and I love them. They achieve exactly what I'm looking to do. I didn't say my joke. I have one question for you guys. What do you get when you mix yellow and blue? I'll wait. 
Yes, you're right, it's green. That is why I have green next to the yellow and blue. <laughs> right next to that section is where I keep my, my markers and pens. So you can find some acrylic markers here. Acrylic pen, which I get from acrylics, and um, some oil based markers for artist markers, which are also made by Pabeo, and you can find the acrylics too. I have a couple of my cards here. I'll be changing these cards. I don't really think I feel them anymore, but yeah. And then I have a brush holder. Look at how gorgeous this brush holder is. It makes it so easy when I want to like pick out brushes for work. It's just so easy because I can see the sizes perfectly so yeah right beneath that you can find a couple of cans of paints that i use for my murals then some packaging for some artworks and yeah that's it for the left shelf at the beginning of the video i mentioned i have been up to quite a number of things and this is one of them i had to cover this up because it's not ready for the public to see yet. This is one of the pieces in the series I'm working on now. And oh, I know by now you're wondering how and where I got this. This is one of my designs for a collaboration I'm working on with Essence Apparel. And look at how amazing this is. Now let's move to where I do the real business. Let's talk about the things on the table. So on the table, I have my iMac for work. Then I have my MacBook, which I connect my Wacom tablet to for my digital pieces. I recently got an iPad. So then I purchased an Apple Pencil to help me practice mobily, mobily, mobily. <laughs> and that is not going so well, but small, small, we'll get there. Then I have my mini tripod, which doubles as a selfie stick for my vlogging and my vlogs on TikTok. I'll probably start posting vlogs on the YouTube channel too soon. So on this side, we have a stack of books. I have quite a number of um, drawing books here with some notebooks that I carry to survey job sites. Then I have a book I'm reading now, which is Children of Blood and Bone by Tony Adeyemi, my very good friend, who made the pictures this for me. And I have the sequel here so that I remember myself to read it. <laughs> so yeah, now let's move to my altar, my sanctuary. <laughs> yeah, this is where I keep little things that make me very happy. The artwork behind there was gifted to me by maybe a looking rare, the lady behind the camera right now. Then on the first row, I have this spot I painted as my very first paint and sip, which was pretty cool, by the way. So my little brother, Maxwell Menome, uncle, painted this bag for me, and I am totally obsessed. Right beneath it is my Winter is Coming mug that was gifted to me by Danine, which I love so much. My Game of Thrones fans know what I mean. At the far end, is a preserved rose with like some 24 karat gold, which I love. Then these are my remote. So this is for my light and this is for my tripod. This is how I'm able to take all my photos when I happen to be alone. This picture was taken by my brother and I really love it. That is why it is up here. Right next to it is another artwork Maybe a little queen rare created for me, and I really, really love this line portrait. <laughs> this this flute always makes me laugh. You know why? It reminds me so much of when we were asked to. Almost everybody in University of Ghana Primary School was asked to have an attendant bank. So I saw this in traffic one time and decided to buy one. It's like a remembrance piece. Coming back to the table, I have three magnificent art pieces. This Patrick was painted for me by my little brother, Maxwell. Me no, me uncle. What's up, Maxwell? Thank you for this, I really love it. And then this was gifted to me by Wontilla. 
this is one of their art pieces from one of their photo shoots and I really love it. I purchased this piece from my little brother's friend. I really, really love it. I just love how it looks and it works so well for my table. My table is so, so functional. It used to be a dining table. It's huge and broad enough. If I decide that I want to, um, if I decide to custom paint something, it is very easy to clear everything and use the table because it gives me ample space to be able to work around. So yeah, and oh, I almost forgot. I always have a pencil and an eraser on my table because I am always searching for a pencil and an eraser. Right next to my work table is the door to my restroom slash storage. That is where most of the things in this room go to die, so we don't want to enter there right now. Then we have the infamous mirror with the LED lights. This is where I take about 90% of my TikTok videos, and I really love it. This is one of the features, features or things in my studio that I love so much. So yeah, the mirror. And through the mirror, you can see how mind-blowing my ceiling is. Let's talk about the ceiling. One of the things I really love about my studio is my ceiling mirror. I wanted something that will always set my mind thinking. I wanted something that I will not be tired of looking at. And one year later, I am still not tired of staring at this. This is by far something that really represents me. It's kind of funny when I talk about it because I'm a very expressive person. A lot of things show on my face. <laughs> I am very expressive. So this is kind of like facial expressions you catch me doing. And it opens up into, into the sky like something a lot more peaceful and calm. Just imagine, just picture this. After a tiring day, just come and be on this very soft sofa and just look into the sky. I mean, not an actual sky, but you know what I mean. It's kind of cool, and I love it. Now that we have the studio tour out of the way, we are about to have one hell of a sweet ride. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Link with me on my socials. My handles are going to pop up down below. Until next time.